Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing a challenge that I told you guys I would eventually end up doing. Because if you remember from the Can My Cats Be Chimps video, I said that I didn't think I needed the village or the alchemist, and that I could 2TC with just the crossbow master and the blue incineration. So today, we will be attempting that. Now... I feel like, you know, the alt buff did probably a lot, okay? Still have auto start off for some reason. Really weird, and that's kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, from yesterday's video with the sub commander. Yeah, we're already at like 214. I know I posted that video out when we were at like 208. But yeah, thank you guys for subscribing. Um, and it looks like he's not good to beat this round, so. Hmm. Oh, wait, I can buy upgrades on him. Yeah, we're obviously going to be going for the better cross path, simply because we need the most amount of damage, as the blue incineration is a good damager, but the shattering shells is not, which is the fourth tier. So, yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, blue incineration is the bottom path mortar, cross master the bottom path dart, and yeah, um, I'm, I'm really excited to, you know, I, I'm trying to start posting more because something that I've noticed is uh, very surprising to probably many of you, but actually, when I post videos every day, I get more subscribers and more views. And I know that may come as a shock, quite, you know, astounding to some of you, but it was actually um, kind of kind of weird for me to see that, that change, not, not in like you know, well, I mean, obviously, if I post, I get more subscribers and views, but, like, I never really, what would happen is I would post, and then I would see my subscribers and views going up, so I'd be like, oh, I don't need to post today, but then I wouldn't post for, like, two days, and then I'd be like, oh, no, everything stopped, and then I'd post, and I'd be like, where are they all go, and then, you know, because it usually takes a day or two for the view count and the you know, subscribers to really rise from that specific video. And I'm wondering if we have enough Pierce here. It seems like we are. And the Mortar will kind of solve all of our problems. Early game camp moves and early game leads are no, um, are not difficult. But I guess I'm just going to keep the Mortar at the start just to, um, hit balloons quicker. I guess. I mean, I'll put it back here, you know, eventually, but I think going for crossbow master before bloomson is gonna be better i feel like we should probably go for the zero zero two four and then go for the hmm zero two five or zero two four and then go for the zero two five and then the zero two five because i feel like shattering shots is going to give us mob damage that the crossbow lacks but depending on how quickly we can get the crossbow master I don't want this to just be the crossbow master show where he's going to do everything. But it will probably end up that way until around late in the game when he really starts struggling against super ceramics and PvPs. That is when the shattering bloom incineration is going to shine. I know, I know. New tower shattering bloom incineration. But yeah, whenever we get um, our next like wave upgrades, I'll see you guys. Oh yeah, so we ended up leaking round 21, so I'm just going to move the mortar back. It, it's it's the best spot for it anyway, so. And we could have purchased it a while ago, but the sharpshooter is now available. And I'm thinking about cross pathing because for pure utility, you're going to want um, the middle path, simply because a lot of the times, Shattering Shells is used to de-fortify balloons, but then it's... Um, also a good damager at Balloon Incineration because of the Walls of Fire. And I, I, I like, saw in a comment on a, a different video that, well, actually the same video because, you know, the same cat video, that someone said that the Wall of Fire does, like, two damage or something, or the plus two really helps it, but I could have sworn the Wall of Fire did 50 damage. So I always thought that the middle path is better. But now I'm kind of, like, second-guessing myself. I mean, I'll still go for the middle path because... I'm going to want more walls of fire, but the top path, especially with the mortar now doing 3 base damage, or 2 base damage, 2 to 3 is not as good as 1 to 2, because, you know, one of those is a 200% increase, and the other one is a 50% increase, or wait, no, 
100% increase and 50% increase. And Shattering Shells, I do still want to accurate a lot more because uh, specifically on rounds like 98, where 30 fortified BFBs are going to come out, it probably would reach them all top path, but I'm going to lock in the middle path. Call me crazy, but I don't know. I think it's better. Um, just after I lock that in, I uh, remember that Bernie, Bernie stuff is actually a thing that um, happens to balloons, and I know that Bernie's is it increase? Smash the rewards of balloons. Oh, no, it's increased on shell shock. So I did make the correct decision. Increase on this upgrades. These just say fast reload. Yeah. So Bernie stuff is not going to be actually increased by the tier twos, but it will be increased by the tier threes of the top path and the middle path. So actually, I like my idea a lot better now. I like my upgrade a lot better now. And as we approach round 40, mob's gonna come out, and we're gonna beat it. But without shattering for that mob damage, I think we're lacking. We could definitely push for crossbow master, but I think that shattering for the mob damage is just gonna be, you know, it's just gonna kind of lock in five layers compared to or five five damage instead of one, and it. Stripped off special balloon property, so I guess it's a D camo. Okay, well, if it weren't chimps, I would have sold it right then. But I guess it is a D camo, uh, D fortify, and I guess it pops frozen too because of the mortar. Yeah, and it burns. Oh, so it's gonna do even more to mob quests. When the when the mobs come out on round 50, I'll see if I can get a number for you guys. Okay, round 50, the mobs are gonna come in, and I did miss the first one, so we're not gonna see the damage on that. But I will try to catch the second one and see if I can see what the birdie stuff damage is. I could probably literally just, you know, look it up. Okay, so, I mean, I feel like I'm definitely, uh, not singling out that mob correctly. But I thought I saw six. But I think a plus one is really weird. From five to six. Okay, why is he... What am I doing, bro? What am I doing, actually? And as we buy the crossbow master, round 53... If you like and Star Monkey says, and please subscribe. Um, we're well on our way to 300, even though we just hit 200 a couple days ago. And I would like to see what is the most uh, possible monkeys and chimps that you can place down. Um, I know that end of the road is the most placeable space, and you know, if you want to claim your dart monkey in a way, subscribe. And even if you don't, even if that doesn't matter to you, and you're just like watching, you know, Bloom's content and supporting a small creator. Um, that'd be that'd be amazing, you know. Uh, like the video too. Drop a comment if you don't know what to comment. Just you know, comment for the algorithm or something. Those are actually extremely helpful, more than you guys could guess. So yeah, um, if you take that small time, you actually you know don't know how much you're helping me. It's actually kind of insane um, how fast we've grown. So thank you to everyone who has you know subscribed, comment, like, done any of that stuff. But here we can finally see the exact damage. So that looked like that looked like 15 to me. From 64 to 79 right there. That looked like 15. So wow. From 5 damage to 15 is actually quite a bit. So I think it might be beneficial for at least right now to keep him at the front. Because he's gonna damage these mobs quite a bit before they even reach the crossbow master. Even if it's only like 30 damage, I feel like that is still gonna probably be the place to keep him. The D camo and the D fortify is not really going to be anything, but yeah, uh, the pierce is definitely an issue. If I just saw that correctly, yeah, he dead hit that wave of ceramics, but only like 20 of them probably, maybe 25. I think the base mortar has 25 pierce. Uh, don't ask me how I know. I think it got nerfed from 40 actually. The only reason I know this stuff is because it was probably in like an ISAB video or like a different creator's video a long time ago. And I know it was very prevalent for races. And then I think I blackboarded Moonland and using the Mortis because they got really buffed. So I'm honestly not sure. It might have been a couple months ago, actually. That's crazy. But yeah. We got BFBs incoming. Let's see the damage on them. You know, not bad. Not bad. For a, for a fourth tier, he's not horrible. I definitely think that there are some better fourth tiers. But, you know, we're not really going to count the Sun Temple. Or like the Apache Dart Ship, you know. But for his relative, okay, I almost just failed the 2TC there by placing down another tower. 
Uh, but I feel like relative for his cost, he's good utility and pretty good damage after the buffs. I feel like, you know, he's not a tower that I would ever choose to use. Like, he's not a tower that I ever think about using. But overall, when I do choose to use him, he's not that bad, you know. He's definitely a tower in the game. He, he does what he's good at. Or he's good at what he does. And... Yeah, I feel like, you know, same thing with any of these other support towers. Maybe the Relentless Blue is not great at damage, but, you know, can sure stun those balloons. And we're well on our way to balloon generation, so I will see you guys when we obtain that. So, I'd just like to highlight, um, maybe the end of 76 there. Um, if I kept it in, uh, you guys can see that this Crossbow Master really struggled with Pierce. And I know that this, uh, even though he looks like he's got a lot of pierce, because, you know, well, anything in his range is dead, he doesn't. And seeing how bad the Crossbow Master is struggling, um, the Balloon Generation $200 is still going to be kept at the front because of the Walls of Fire. Yep, still there, too. If you saw on that side, maybe we rewind 10 seconds. Crossbow Master is struggling with pierce. But now the Balloon Sin should actually be kept at the front because of its Walls of Fire. It completely popped on that BFB, and I know that 76 is a long round, but yeah, something else is funny, is I guess it's a deep purpler too, yeah, look at the crossbow kind of struggle, it's a, it's a deep purpler, but it deep purples, but it doesn't deep purple with the wall of fire, oh, okay, well, you know what, something I just realized, I think the Bernie stuff, from the actual base mortar does 50 damage and the walls of fire do 2 damage or like 3 damage or something that makes so much more sense but yeah um well you know what to see here if I take this away the walls of fire are gonna stay there if I hit it with the very end it's still gonna get hit with the wall of fire oh that looks like a hundred damage okay a bit of a bit of me not talking there because I'm trying to look at the numbers, but to me that looked like a hundred damage. That's actually quite a bit, quite a bit more than I thought. Pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Am I at least ticking twice or something with the wall of fire? Not sure. Who knows? Not me. But I will eventually have to move it back, probably for ceramics. I'll probably have to put walls of fire there at the start and then move it back to here. And I know you guys probably would think, oh, why would you want to put it on an intersection? Because actually the Walls of Fire will have enough range where really the only thing that we want to um, have the... Or the only thing that we need the Walls of Fire to hit are the Moads because the Ceramics will die to the Bernie stuff damage. So if we keep it here, the Walls of Fire are going to hit the Moabs. But we don't really need the Cerams to be popped by the Walls of Fire. Because the Crossbow Master is going to be able to hopefully handle them or we can just do a bit of Mortar Micro and plop a couple Walls of Fire on them. Right, 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 right. Yeah. S uh, speech impediment going crazy. 95, maybe we can test again to see the damage. So if I, like, I'll aim for, like, the back one. Yeah, that's definitely 100. It went from, like, 292 to 392. I saw that. I saw that. Don't think you can hide from me, game. I saw the numbers. And we're going to move back up here. And it looks like, I bet if I do some, uh, Mortar Micro, and I give the um, Cross Master more pops. If I put it like back here, I bet we could do a uh, one one MP one MP. Wouldn't that be fun? But you know, I will. I do want to get the burning stuff on these guys to start with at least, and then we build up the walls of fire back here for when that they pop. That will be over there. I know, I know. I'm really smart, and I'm kind of good at this game. And I would have liked to um, uh, win that round. Um, but I also would have liked to pick a harder map to do this on But because the mortar is kind of restricted in what it can do and the crossbow master is not a considerable uh, It's not really a great DPS option so to speak and I'm kind of in a time crunch today a lot more than usual even though it's Friday um, I told my friends I'd play Minecraft with him and I told him I'd play with him in 20 minutes and it is currently 19 minutes and 54 seconds into the recording and I had to open up Bloom's Tower Defense, so it actually just hit 20 minutes right now. So I'm gonna 
literally probably gonna ghost him for like 15 minutes because I need to edit and update this video because there's a part that I said cut this part out and I feel like I'm gonna forget if I edit it on like Sunday and be lazy so you guys are gonna get what four videos in a row I know I know the upload schedule is getting better but um, I will keep the walls of fire up there for the defortification specifically on this round I probably I probably I'm trying to sound like really smart I'm trying to sound like I know like that I'm doing something extra spectacular but I'm literally just uh, putting the mortar in like a two different spots and then saying fancy words or like acting like there's some big strategy but no it's just um, the ceramics that are annoying so for this the cross mask can hold its own for a while but as these all these pop we need to move it back to right there and I don't even know if we're gonna have enough a blue balloon. Uh oh, spaghettio! What's going on? We're gonna move it up further, and then we're gonna move it back to here. Why is crossbow master not doing it? Come on, bro! Win the round. Ooh, you know what? I actually did something very smart that I did not intend to do. I segmented the round. If you saw, there were like four half health VFBs still here as the other ceramics pop and seeing as I said that we had a pierce issue before I probably should have uh, clued in on that a bit sooner I'm gonna move it back here now and even though that I said the ceramics aren't gonna be a problem they are so I guess the cross the mass is gonna be get hitting in the face a lot with some flaming balls of fiery death but we're gonna win uh, okay yep but actually that spot's going to be kind of goaded because it's going to hit the ceramics but also leave a bunch of uptime compared to here. Oh, wait. Oh, we got it. Compared to... Mm, where do we got it? Compared to here, where it's going to, you know, only really hit Moab and maybe some ceramics. And here, it's going to hit mostly ceramics. This spot, where the crossbow masters... Okay, what, what, what is going on? What am I... Bro, I'm yapping. I'm yapping actually so much. What, 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 what the... Um... Yeah. I have tried this round probably 10 times. I've tried many different placement strategies, but... It's not really working. So, I'm gonna give this one some more attempts. I'm gonna try to change up cross-pathing a bit. Um... Uh, let me here. Let me hop into the sandbox game real quick. Okay, so obviously I have monkey knowledge on, but I'm not. I don't think there are like two major monkey knowledges that affect these towers. I am gonna move this one away just so there aren't three walls of fire. Um, bigger blasts. I mean, what's what's the biggest difference? Let's see. Let's see what does better damage. So let's go back to round 94, um, I will send it out, and I will move your mortar. Like, how much, how much more damage is that? Is that actually that much more damage? It can't be, right? I have the crossbow master with the pierce path too now. So I leaked. I leaked the ceramic. Is that really that much more damage? Is there like a monkey knowledge that I'm not remembering that will change something? Okay, here, let's... If I... If I sell him, and I go back to the other path that I had before... Okay, whatever, let's just run round 98 out. Is it really that much worse? It's not, there's no way. There has to be some sort of monkey knowledge that is making this a lot easier. Okay, why can I like first try both of these times, but not the other times? I'm looking at DPS and it looks about the same. I'm gonna check Monkey Notch because there has to be. Oh, unless it's the Crossbow Master having enough Pierce. Um. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna give this one another attempt in a day or two, so subscribe if you wanna see that. But I guess this is the first fail that I'm actually gonna upload. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.